Union Week. Uh, what does it mean to you to, to see all those people here? It started out that maybe 20 of my friends were coming. Now it's 40, now it's up to 60. That's just how we are in Youngstown, last minute. So between all three of us, we probably have about, oh man, about 200, 300 people coming. So it's gonna be good. Uh, a lot of tradition comes from there. We got a lot of respect for that program. You know, we, I watched it grow up. People don't know I play college basketball there too. So that's, that's a little insight that I'm, I'm, I'm always pulling for them, but not this weekend. <laughs> You, uh, I, I mean, you felt pretty good about the, uh, getting your tight ends involved in this Mississippi World Cup first quarter. Yeah, we, 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 that was the game plan. We actually, you know, I got to give Rich a lot of credit. That game plan was put in probably about a month ago. And we knew that it was going to be, we was going to be in 13 personnel a lot, 12, a lot of explosive plays with the tight ends. We actually missed three. Uh, you've probably seen the one where Bates fell down, mm -hmm. ran into the rough, and there was another one we were open on. Uh, but I'm not surprised because, you know, we got good tight ends in that room and it's expected of them. They, they, they got to block and they to earn the passes, you got to be able to block. So I was very proud of them. They all graded, the top three graded in the 90s, so, which was good. So I was very proud of them. We heard you talk to, about Mark getting that 61st win as being the all-time lane coach. What does it just mean to you to be here for that and this, the journey y'all been on together? Oh, man, it, you know, it was hard, man. You know, when you first came here in 2013 and, you know, losing to Western Kentucky and just like, wow, we got to really go to work and we got to really recruit and we got to really change this roster over. And, and watching him go through the early pains of, you know, losing games and then starting to win and knowing him since I was 10 years old and knowing his parents, you know, God rest his dad. He was my high school coach. But his mom, I wish his mom was there. She watched, though. Of course, she wanted the tight ends to get the ball too. So. <laughs> but she, uh, it means a lot to me, man, because Mark, y'all know Mark, I've been dealing with him now for 10 years. He don't take a lot of credit. There's a lot of other coaches take credit. And I told him, he's like, man, I don't even want my name in the same breath as Bear Bryant. But I say, listen, when we took over, it took a Bear Bryant to probably do that. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy for him. Uh, he's a, he's a great coach, great friend. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just very, very happy for him. I really am. Why do you think so many good coaches come from Youngstown? Why does why does that city produce as many coaches as it does? I think it's the, the culture where we come from. Uh, we, we you know you, you see like when I took a couple of friends back and we went back for reunions, they say, man, like guys that graduated in the '60s and '70s and '80s, we just all close, and it, it, it don't matter what color you are. Our parents work very hard. And that's why we are very similar to people in Kentucky, and I relate to a lot of people in Eastern Kentucky because it's hard work. And our parents, you know, like me and Mark, we didn't grow up with a lot, but we never knew we probably, you know, if we weren't poor, we didn't know that. And I think just the strain and guys doing their work and going the extra mile, you know, really produce good coaches from out of there. They just love football, but they they all they people person. You got to be a people person to be successful in football or basketball or baseball. You got to have relationships. And I think, you know, I worked for Bo Pelini. We were very successful at Nebraska. Working for Mark and then people who work for Bob, his brother, everybody I talked to has always been the same. You know, they want you to go to your kids' games. They just treat you, you know, it, it ain't doggy dog. They treat you like a man. And I, that's, that's what I love about him and all his brothers and his family. When you talk about that work and that approach, how much of that do you think goes into the way Mark's done this? Just the, how much of that Youngstown approach goes into uh, the way he's done it? I don't think if you went from Youngstown, and, and, and I'm, I'm serious because as I got to know people from Kentucky, learning Eastern Kentucky, I see like people that I meet now, they say they're from Eastern Kentucky and, and a lot of people are very successful. When I look at Eastern Kentucky, you know, it's hard times there too, but I think it's totally where we grew up at. Uh, you know, we, you know, we don't back down from nobody. We respect everybody, but we, you don't have tough people coming out of there. And you gotta understand who his dad was. His dad was our high school coach. There were six kids, maybe seven kids. Mom stayed home. They had a three bedroom home and the dad worked 24 seven being coached. I mean, it was just, that's who I really admired. I wish people got to know his father. His father's reason why them boys are who they are is because of their dad. He was a very no nonsense guy, but he did, you know, he cared about people. And I like to tell the story like me coming from the inner city, coming to Cardinal Mooney, being African-American, I just lost my dad and he replaced that boy with me at school. So I just think that if you guys got to know his dad, you guys would know you wouldn't be shocked who everybody else turned out to be, the girls and the boys.
but, but seeing what Dane and Barryon have done so far already, how much easier did it become to recruit impact receivers when the offense oh. changed last year? So when the offense changed, uh, that's why I give Liam a lot of credit. When the offense changed and you got Will Levis here, it was more like, do you want to come and play in the NFL system? You're talking to some of our skill guys now that's in the NFL. They said that it was so easy going to the Bengals, going to the Rams, going to Minnesota. It was the same playbook. And when you, I mean, when you got a quarterback like Will, who I, I've been saying he is the number one quarterback in the country, guys wanted to come and play for that. So now it's easy to go recruit elite receivers. Like, you know, we would get Lynn Bolton, you know, you always get one. Now, I mean, there's two other guys you guys ain't even seen yet that are fast. Brandon White and Jordan. I mean, uh, my man, the fastest guy in the country. <laughs> so I, I love the way we recruit now in that room. This is the most talent we've had in that room since I've been here.